Eli Chavos. His opponent weighs 157. He stands six foot, 22 years old. I heard him tell you he was the oldest fighter in his weight division. I got it. And looks his looks to be looks Eli to be almost Chavis. in the best shape. Yeah. Very tough. He said he's just tough. He acts pretty tough. Let's see see how tough he is. Points. His opponent, hard hands, crazy. Yeah, it's not. Let's ring the bell and see how tough Chavis really is. Uh oh. Well, we're about to find out. Here we go. All right, Chavis. Let's see what you got, boy. <laughs> we're calling him out. <laughs> oh, he's turning his back. That's that's not smart at all. There's arms and legs and uh, hair and chin, everything just flying all over in here. He's trying to be defensive. He's just moving his head too much. He's taking himself out of his balance and his good fight posture. He can't answer back when he's that far out of out of his balance. Looking a little winded there too. Oh, it's, he's done. He's done. All right, tough guy, Chavis. All right. He's ready for some more. Right. Into the round, into the round. Into the round. Saved by the bell. There's music to Chavis's ears when he heard well, that bell. Ladies and gentlemen, who thinks Chavis is tough? Eli let's refusing to take the stool in the red corner. <laughs> Number one, huh? Yes, yes, yes. Like I said, though, I picked no favorites. No favorites. Oh, I can tell, Dustin. Round number two coming up. Eli, really interesting. If I heard that correctly, Jerry said that uh, Chavis called uh, Sayer out before this bout. I think Sayer gave him the work in the first round. Yeah. I'd be real surprised if oh, it's true. I don't think Eli is going to make it out of this round. I do, nope. I do not either. He might be rethinking his life choices right about now on who he wants to uh, talk a little bit of trash to. Yeah, he just talked a little trash to the referee there, too. I saw Mike Settle tell uh, Sayer to give himself a little bit of room to throw that uppercut. Now's the, now's the time when he needs to do that. When he's all been over, oh, he's down yeah. again. He's done. Complaining about getting hit on the top of the head, but when you lower your head like that, that's what's going to happen. Yes, you are. Very ironic considering before tonight, I actually talked with Eli Chavis and he said he was going to let his talk and go out in the ring and do it there. So that's what he looks to be doing. Tough young man. Oh, baby. Oh, Eli uh, talking some trash to the referee. He's about to uh, yeah. get disqualified. Commissioner told him to disqualify and he said no, let him get beat up. Exactly I like the way he style. Yeah, let him, let him take more of a beat. Well, he's getting a break speed off of this round. Down three to three, three times in two rounds. Well, let's take a look at the replay sure here. He's even landed a bunch. Sarah just giving him the work. Chavez has no idea what's coming. Eli Chavis just not on the Sayers level at all. Not even close. No. And the trash talking don't help him against no. the other fighter or the referee. That's just disrespect. No. You're going to find yourself uh, unable to compete again in West Virginia when you do that. Yeah, if you talk to talk, you need to walk the walk. He's not walking. He's answering back now. Oh. 
went down on his own. Not long about his being hit. The fan of punch. Still talking trash to the referee. The referee. <laughs> well, if uh, if I read correctly, it looks like Chavez had uh, some colorful words for the referee there. I believe Chavez said, fuck you, and I believe the referee said, no, fuck you. <laughs> so, <laughs> Who's still laying on the ground looking <laughs> up? Exactly. So, <laughs> Oh, come on. Nope, there. Back in. Oh, he's going to let it go some more. Yeah. Play down. Play is not over. I don't know. Maybe it is. <laughs> he likes Shane to say, make me. Fight. I'm not getting up. I'm not fighting. That, that could be the most embarrassing I've ever seen a fight in my life. Oh, they're going to let it go once oh, more. Yeah. He's looking for another place to lay down. Oh, Sarris is going in. Look, right here's a good spot. Let me just lay yeah. down. It's coming. They turn around and run. That's embarrassing. Well, that's what you get for trash talking yeah. and not showing up. He ought to be embarrassed. Get on him. That's that embarrassing. Lay down for the decision. Lay down. <laughs> oh my God. That is the poorest performance of any fighter I have ever seen in one of these events. I'll tell you what, Steve. That's one of the greatest things I've ever seen. That's, that's <laughs> worth his weight in gold right there. That is absolutely, even his corner men are upset with him. Look at that. Uh-oh. He's going to be taught a lesson here. I'll tell you what. This isn't where I would want to rub people the wrong way. <laughs> and he still won't let it go. That was embarrassing. Beckley's finest going to step in here in a minute and give him a free ride. If he could fight as good as he could talk, he'd be a world champ. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, it looks like we're going to get some extra content here. Uh-oh. Dustin and Tim, there's nothing wrong with a good old-fashioned ass whipping as long as the right person gets whipped. You know exactly. what I'm saying? That's right. Exactly. <laughs> you see it all in Tough Man. This is awesome. This is great. Oh, I, I love it. I would imagine, knowing the commission representative as well as I do, that Mr. Eli Chavis will not fight again in West no. Virginia for a long time. I would say he don't need to because he can't fight even a little bit. He's all talk. <laughs> we already know he can't back it up. Look at how he fought. Absolutely. <laughs> Hell, he couldn't even get off his uh, ring gear without falling down. <laughs> That's pitiful. That's pitiful. Pitiful is a good word for that. <laughs> I'm going to win any favor with the crowd with, with some antics like that, that's for sure. Sounds like Beckley was uh, letting them know how they feel. I believe John Wayne was one said, if, you, if you're going to be stupid, you better be tough. And he's, 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 he's one of them. He's not both. I'd say, yeah, he's, I'd say he's only got one side of that spectrum. <laughs> there was uh, a saying that I heard that, uh, you know, sometimes it's better to keep your mouth shut and have people think you're stupid than to open it and prove them right. And uh, I think he opened his mouth and let people know how stupid he was. That was by far the most pitiful performance and behavior of any fighter at any event that I go to in West Virginia. It was terrible. It was terrible. 